Hey everyone, welcome back to the next various minifigure video. I know it's been quite a while since the previous episode, but I wanted to finally show these four figures off. So I've had two of them sitting around for a while, and two recent ones I just made. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So to those of you who don't know who this minifigure is, this is actually Padme Amidala from the Attack of the Clones film from Star Wars. And this is basically literally a mixed shift custom, because I wouldn't want to make a full on custom right now, as I'm about to do the Empire Strikes Back showcase, and post that on May 4th very soon. So, yeah, basically this minifigure uses one of these hair pieces, the Kanan hair piece, I think, I guess. I don't really know where that hair piece came from, I think that was that minifigure. Then the head was a knockoff Invisible Woman head, and those of you that stick around on the LB Stop Motions channel, I actually used that head for Black Widow when making that video, so that's cool. And then the torso is a back to front Poe Dameron torso, I think from Rise of Skywalker, and you can see that on the back. And then the gun, the blaster thing, just a standard gun. The legs are from Howard Wolowitz from The Big Bang Theory, and that's literally it. There's not much else to say for uh, Padme, and I nearly forgot her name, but as it's getting quite awkward right now, let's go ahead and move on. So next up is Marceline the Vampire Queen from Adventure Time. And a lot of you may remember that I made Finn and Jake and Flame Princess last year, I think. And I wanted to go ahead and make some more characters. Now I did make some progress on Ice King, for those of you who are a fan of this show and are aware of the characters. And while Ice King is looking kind of cool from a distance, I think up close he'll probably cringe a lot of you people out, so I don't really know if I'm going to show him. But that's an idea that I have in my head, and a lot of you can let me know in the comments if you want to see that. But anyway, on to Marceline. The hairpiece was sculpted over a regular hairpiece, like entirely sculpted, and while the back looks really hideous or something, I just thought I'd leave it. And all those white spots in the hair, um, they're not meant to be there. I did try to paint the crap out of this hairstyle and even sculpt like the front sections coming down the chest I guess and it is removable so here we go and uh, that's how it looks and it looks really cool as it gets removed I always like seeing my minifigures coming apart like with sculpted elements like this so yeah and then the head was from the official Marceline minifigure from Lego Dimensions I think I think it came from Lego Dimensions I'm not sure but if it did, that's where this head came from, obviously. And then the torso, fully painted. It's quite under-detailed, but it gets the job done. She has the bite marks on the neck from Hash Became a Vampire. And then the legs have the painted boots going round all four sides. And other than that, that's it for Marceline. And my voice is going for some reason. Now, I know that Bob Ross probably doesn't wear one of these outfits, but... I still want to give it to him because this torso looks pretty much like something he would possibly wear. And then I painted up the arms in brown as well, so... Yeah, and then the head was a Lego City head with painted eyebrows. Can't speak. And then... Yeah, that's how it looks with the hairpiece off, I forgot to mention. And speaking of the hairpiece, I know there's a lot of people that use this hairstyle right here for this minifigure, and... While I totally understand why they'd use it, I just wanted to try something different with this custom because I think the Bilbo Baggins hairstyle, I think it's from, where it's from, I think that works for this minifigure, so that's good. And then the legs were Han Solo's legs. I have two of these that are on the desk now because this minifigure has them and it's bears as well, so that's good. Now, screw the stand for this big fig. Here is Professor Hulk, Smart Hulk, Mark Ruffalo even. This guy is inspired by MGF's amazing Professor Hulk that he's working on right now. And while it's unfinished from him, I still like how it looks and I wanted to take some inspiration from him. And then I did the rest of the big fig as well, using that Professor Hulk big fig as a base, you know, from the Lego group, so that's good. I got most of the jumpsuit painted and also the nano gauntlet which I don't think any of you have seen yet, so 
if I get into focus real quick, you can see all that detail, ignore the black paint on my fingers and stuff like that. You can see everything that was sculpted on, all the different stones, you know, the infinity stones, aren't they? Or nano stones. I don't really know how that really works, but at least I've seen in the game as well, so that's good. But yeah, even though the back's not finished, I, I like how the front looks the most. And I've said it like a million times on my channel, but I like fronts me figures more than backs, unless they have a cool design that I can't resist painting. I'll paint the back when I choose to, but for right now I like how he looks just like this, kind of. Or like this, with the nano gun look, so yeah, that is it for this video. And I'm going to get everyone back in the shot real quick, so I can round this out. And so, let me know what you think of all four of these down in the comments, because I'm always looking for feedback on all my customs that I post to the channel. And sorry about the like flicker as well. But coming up next for my channel, the next video is going to be the Empire Strikes Back showcase. Because if you all remember that I've been doing Star Wars films in order, I'm doing that now for Empire Strikes Back. So that showcase should be out on Star Wars Day, you know, May 4th. So be on the lookout for that by subscribing and perhaps doing the notification bell as well. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, and uh, now that I can't really speak because of the rhyming, I'm going to go and finish off that video that I just talked about, so catch you guys next time, so see ya. Oh that's great camera, thanks, because I'm using a tripod and it just gets knocked up when I instantly hit the record button. Great.